one more way to use Lenz's law. It also helps conserve energy. Another way to look at a problem and guess the direction of the current, it's going to be the one where you don't create free energy. So let's have a quick look. Let's remember our slider. Here our little slider guy we had here. And it's free to move and you have a magnetic field everywhere. And it's just sitting here. And we said, what happens if you give it a little kick? Oh, we gave it a little V naught. And it made a current that went around in a way that opposed the change in the flux. Going this way, the flux is getting bigger that way. It wants to make um, a flux that does, uh, makes the B field come out to oppose the increase in the flux that way. That's why the current went around this way. The current going around this way made a current go up like that. B cross B, it opposed the motion. What if Lenz's law messed up? What if it could go either way? Well, then the current went that way, and this current would go this way, like that, and then V cross B. When you pushed it forward, you would get a force pushing it forward more, and then it would accelerate and go faster, and then the force would be bigger. The thing would just fly off and create kinetic energy, which, of course, it can't do. You can make a real gun. You can make this thing move if you drive current with a power supply. But here we're talking about cases where there's no power supply to make something move. And if there's no power supply, then the thing, all it can do is lose energy to the resistor. So sometimes you can use Lenz's law by looking at a situation and say which one is going to not create energy.